My target for this rally is, to be honest, to finish it. We want to get from that start line to the finish in one piece. You know, we're not aiming to be the quickest. We're just aiming for me to learn. Every stage, every rally is now a test for me to learn that little bit more, to learn confidence, for us to bond and to get the relationship growing. Um, yeah, I realise I have got a lot to do here. <laughs> I've got Daniel here who is up in the van, teaching me as much as he can about co-driving, but obviously just keeping it simple. Um, what's the simplest amount that I need to learn, but enough to be able to get through the rally. I guess my main interest in this sport, in this sport is you know, that, that speed, that kind of living on the edge of you know, trying to push the car to its limits to get around the rally as fast as possible, but also knowing that you want to get back in one piece. So I guess in my sport, Skeleton, you were always trying to, you know, hundreds of a second get quicker and quicker and take a line quicker around a corner. I guess it's exactly the same here. So what's that little edge of limit of pushing yourself, of me learning my, you know, my rally notes enough and my pace notes, um, but knowing that at the end of the day, me and Tony want to get back in one piece and realizing that he's experienced and I'm not. I've been asked lots of times, am I really brave or fearless or have I just, you know, got something missing? I think my sport, you do have to have, you know, be quite fearless. You do have to have some guts and, you know, to sprint and jump on a sled on your stomach inches off the ice at 92 miles per hour. Obviously, you've got to have some guts in you, but I guess, a way of explaining it is that I have a respect for what I'm doing. When I'm sliding on a skeleton, you have respect for the track and for your sport. And although you're always pushing to the limits, you have that deep understanding. And here, you know, you've got respect for the cars and for the course. And although you want to be fearless and, you know, the speed doesn't worry me or frighten me, I completely trust the person driving. You're still going to have that little bit of respect to know that on that edge of limits of how far do you take it or not, I would you know, try and hold back a little bit. <laughs> For me, I think my achievement here, if with every rally that I do, I can just creep up a little bit more and, you know, already I can't see too many females around. So, you know, I can sneak in being, you know, female near the top. Um, that would be great um, to get around every single rally, huge achievement to feel that I'm improving and bettering myself. We can creep up from bottom to top to middle. Awesome. So, so why are you doing this? What, what's bringing you back to this? And why are we doing it? It's quite a challenge, really, because I, I get very, very excited about driving at World Championship level. And uh, we had the opportunity of getting a personality instead of a, a media guy alongside me. Because when you get the media with you, obviously you can raise the money to be able to go and do it. When this proposition came along, or we thought about getting a personality, a gold medalist, the fact it's Winter Olympics next year, uh, we talked to Amy and Amy's management company, and eventually they said, yes, we'd like to do it. So it's a challenge for me as much for her, because we've got to build her up as part of a team. Uh, and we've got to work together, as you know. It's, it's quite a sinking together and getting that you know, unity in the car is very difficult, but uh, she's showing early signs of promise. Well, she was talking, I was, I was mentioning to her, you know, the whole thing about teamwork, and, and that's what it's all about in the rally. Yes, no, there's no question, and that's the great thing about it, because we've been talking about, it's not it's not just the pace notes and the timing, it, it's, it's how we interact in there, and if she gets the rhythm and timing correct and calling the pace notes, we'll just get quicker, and of course it's safer that way as well as she's already found out this morning with the intercom failure she had to use her hand signals and lost her way a couple of times but that's fine we're here to learn yeah you're learning as well i mean this is a long time since you've done this competitively i guess yeah, yeah i've been doing a, a fair bit of racing between my own commitments with, with motorsport motor gp and formula one and uh, you you do get very very rusty it was very slippy in there and it was sort of oh well here goes another wake up call but great to be back well, the standard of machinery in the Scottish Championship is very high. Uh, the enthusiasm is always high. Uh, we intend to do them at cray stages as well. 
um, where there's a potential for two gold medalists to be involved, as you know. Um, so yes, it is a very, very high standard and um, huge respect for a lot of the Scottish drivers. And finally, what's your, your ultimate aim? Where, where, where do you see this taking you? To the World Championship, Wales Rally GB in November and a finish, but I want to finish well. I'd like to finish in the top 30 if we could. So it's a long road ahead, long road to Wales, but with uh, all the training and people like Daniel Barrett, who's cu currently WRC behind us, uh, we intend to make it. And she's pretty determined too. Oh, good luck. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks, Terry. Thank no, you went very well. Thank, Thank you very much. Congratulations, I think it's my great pleasure to hand over your winner of class trophy, first in class on the GWF Energy Merit Stage, class 7, congratulations, and Tony as well, so uh, well done, and we'll see you later on where I believe Tony is going to give us a little display in the stage later. The major thing for me is the performance of Amy Williams, because in the stage this afternoon, the last three stages she never missed a note. The faster the stage, the better that she got. And honestly, I didn't have to say a word when she was urging me on, which was fantastic. And then face going past, there were quite a few wrecked cars. Cars facing us upside down, cars in the ditch, all that kind of thing could be quite off-putting. She's done a brilliant job. So it gives us great hope for Wales Rally GB, it really does. Amy, I was expecting you to look a bit more shell-shocked. You look very yeah. calm, well done. <laughs> I felt quite calm when I'm in the car actually. Um, yeah, I mean, like Tony said, you do see cars that are upside down, but I was too bothered about reading my notes. I could see, I could see the drivers were okay. You wish them well and move on. So I did feel more confident as each stage went on. And I know I've still got a lot to learn, but I'm just glad we got the first one done. I know what rallying is all about now, a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's um, started from somewhere and I'm really pleased that we did that well. Well done, congratulations. And congratulations for some fans. <laughs> it's yeah, all right, that's isn't a it? Surprise. Oh, with a bit of glass, we're from Scotland. <laughs> Very happy with that. Well done, guys. It's a bonus.